Today for this video, what I want to do is show you how to graph the following parametric equations um, using the interval negative 2 to 2 for t. So basically what this is telling us to do is we're going to set up a table for the t values, the x and y values also. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to pick values for t that fall in the given interval. Okay, so I'm going to start at my lowest value, which is negative 2, and then I'm going to continue using integers all the way up until the final value of positive 2. And then what I'm going to do is plug them in to get my x coordinate. I'm going to plug it into the first equation right here. So I would do negative 2 squared, which is 4 plus 2 gives me 6. Negative 1 squared plus 2 gives me 3. 0 squared plus 2 gives me 2. 1 squared plus 2 gives me 3, and 2 squared plus 2 gives me 6. So this is going to be my x-coordinate in my ordered pair for when I go to graph these. So now let's find the y-coordinate. So the y-coordinate is found essentially the same way. We're going to take our t-value right here, and we're going to plug these numbers in to our y equation. So we would do 2 times negative 2 minus 3, which is negative 7. 2 times negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 5. 2 times 0 minus 3, which is negative 3. 2 times 1 minus 3 gives me negative 1. And then the last one, 2 times um, 2 minus 3 gives me 4, minus 3 is positive 1. So now what we are going to do is we are going to take and graph the points 6, negative 7, 3, negative 5, 2, negative 3, 3, negative 1, and 6, 1. So we're going to ignore t completely when we go to graph. We're just graphing our x, y pairs. So I would go over to 6, and then turn and go down 7. Okay, we would go to 3, down 5, 2, negative 3, 3, negative 1, and then our last point would be at 6, 1. And we would not continue this because we're only graphing it in the interval from t of negative 2 to 2, so we don't draw the arrowheads to continue this on. So what we have here is a parabolic function that is opening sideways. Um, and at, sorry, it's a parabola that is open sideways. It is not a function because we have repeating x values, um, which makes it easier for us to graph um, if you are trying to plug it into technology that has to be in function notation. So you can change your graphing calculator to parametric mode, and it will show you the graph of this in your calculator. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.